What's happening? Now that Paradox Rift is here, and we've all been talking about these different EXs, I think there's one that a lot of people forgot. The deck I'd like to talk about today, Serena EX. I think this is one of the sleeper decks that can sneak into the meta and cause a lot of decks a lot of problems. So if you want to see what I came up with, gotta go to the deck list. Serena EX. It's a stage two Terra Pokemon. It's a water Pokemon, but has Grass Energy and its first attack, which only requires one Grass Energy, Icicle Soul. You get to put damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon until it only has 30 HP remaining. Now you're wondering, well, of course, that's never going to knock anything out. We do have the second attack for two Grass Energy that drops 180 on your opponent on the active. And then you also get the heal. 30 damage from Serena. Now this deck is revolved around that first attack. So how are we gonna get that extra 30 HP? We are gonna use the Hisuian Braviary. For no energy, you get to put three damage counters on any Pokemon that already has damage counters on them. So the way this deck works is you're gonna use Serena EX to drop damage counters on enough Pokemon where once they're all eliminated, you will collect all six prizes in one turn. Then come up with the Hisuian Braviary on the next turn and you don't even have to worry about energy. Drop 30 damage counters on everybody else and boom, all six prizes on one turn. Now, since you're not really taking any prizes throughout the game, whatever Pokemon your opponent puts out there is pretty much gonna be stuck. So if they didn't leave, any room for Luminion or anything else, they are not gonna be able to play it. So how are we gonna set this up? Well, we are also gonna add in the Pidgeot EX. You're already playing Rare Candy anyway. You might as well play the Pidgeot EX. Let you grab one card every single turn from your deck, no matter what it is. And then of course, with all these little Pokemon, we are gonna play the Manaphy just in case somebody's got that Radiant Greninja floating around. And then to get all these Pokemon out there, we are gonna do the four Battle VIP, two Nest Ball, four Ultra Ball. And as I said, we are gonna have four Rare Candy. Now, here's where the deck is really different than other decks. Number one, we only play the one Switch. We also only play one Boss because you really don't need it because you're just dropping damage counters throughout the whole game. You don't really care who's in front. But what you do care about is getting those rare candies. So we are gonna play two Arvin, four Colrus, three Irida, because Irida will get your Radiant Serena because it is a water Pokemon and get you that rare candy, just like those Chen Pals players do with that Bax Caliber. And then I put in two Zinnia's Resolve. Zinnia's Resolve, you have to discard two cards out of your hand and then you get as many cards as your opponent has Pokemon out. Most likely they're gonna have a full bench. So on your second or third turn, you're grabbing six full cards. It's even better than Colrus because Colrus, one, it only gets you five. And second, you gotta only keep three and toss two away. And then for the tool, we are going with four Panic Masks. Panic Mask prevents all damage done to the Pokemon this card is attached to from any Pokemon that has 40 HP or less which they will, because they're only going to have 30. So you can put this on all the Pokemon that are on there. You want to kind of have set up with two Serena, a Pidgeot EX, and then the Braviary, all with the Panic Mask. And if you have that to pretty much guarantee that the damage is going to stay on there, we're going to play two copies of Dyna Tree Hill, which forbids any Pokemon from being heal and once we're really set up and we have enough cards in our hand we are also going to play the path to the peak yes it shuts off pidgeot ex but it also shuts down how many decks in the process way too many to not stick this in the deck and just play it at the right time so let's go use serena ex drop all the damage counters we want come up with the hisuian braviary finish the job and take all six prizes in one turn. But before we do that, I would like for you to hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, and let's go see the deck in action. All right, going against Roaring Moon. All right, so we know what Roaring Moon does. So the thing is, hmm, how are we gonna play this one? So we are gonna get down uh, a Pidgey. We're gonna get down the Boon Suite here. 
Uh, and then we're going to Colrus and just see what happens. And hopefully we can get some... Yeah, hopefully we can get some uh, rare candies here. All right, they're going to squawk a billy. Otherwise, they wouldn't have put it down. Squawk and seize. Here it comes. So they're at 290. The good thing is they've already put their uh, charm on. So now that I know that they play them, I really shouldn't uh, use the Serena's attack on them until they do it. So we're going to get our two prizes here. We can get two prizes from Squawk and Billy. And then we only need one more two prizer down. There it is. But now we have to wait until they evolve. That's that's the only key here. All right, well, that one we don't. So there's our three prizes. Now, the problem is we might waste a, a turn if, if they play Collapse Stadium, which I'm, sh I'm sure they do. That would waste a turn. But we're going to put it on... Okay, I got an energy. All right, one there. Let's thin out this deck. All right, so they don't hit the bench, so we don't need that. And let's get out another one. I mean, the more the merrier at this point. All right, here we go. I need a rare candy or something. All right, I don't need a bone sweet. I need this. I need a rare candy, and I need an Arvin. Here we go. All right, we are good. I'm kind of satisfied with what we have, and I'm going to end turn. Yep. I'm not going to attach because I don't know if they're going to boss one up. The only thing I don't want them to boss up is the old uh, Pidgey right there. Don't boss up the Pidgey. If they don't boss up the Pidgey, we are sitting good. You can knock out whatever you want, just not the Pidgey. Because we'll evolve and we'll put the damage right here on the Roaring Moon. Because then if the Roaring Moon attacks... Uh, We'll just, oh, come on. All right. I got an R, I mean, I got everything. I really do. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna play Path to the Peak here because I know it shuts down them, but I'm not comfy with uh, my setup yet. So I'm gonna hold the Path to the Peak until I'm really set up here. Okay, well, it doesn't matter, does it? Well, that stinks. That that really stinks because I could have actually had it all. All right, well, that's that's going to change on what I play. So I really want to play. Yep, yep. Okay. All right, hit me for 100. That's fine. They're obviously not going to get rid of the stadium. But the thing is, I have the herb. The best thing to top deck right now would be a rare candy. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me, a rare candy. No. Okay. So the next thing I have to do is uh, go get it, right? Arvin gets me the rare candy and gives me the panic mask, which is the two pieces I needed. Okay. So we're good here. We're good there. We're going to place the energy. We're going to place the panic mask. We're really not going to do anything else right now uh except because i am i'm in some deep trouble uh and we're gonna do it to the roaring moon because now if they do their their attack where they do 200 to themselves we're getting prize cards so the next one we're gonna do it on okay cool so the next one we're gonna do it on are they gonna just professor's research okay is the uh the, the galeria moltres v because we know it doesn't evolve uh so it's not going to get any higher so that'll be our second one all right so they're going for this dark cry to do the most damage here oh okay xenia's resolve and i'm going to get rid of these two and get a whole bunch of cards yeah that doesn't help me we're going to put a panic mask on there. We're going to put a panic mask on there. Um, the path to the peak is down. So I'm going to go do this. Get my Serena. And unfortunately, 
I'm going to do this first. Okay. So now I have two set up. So if one gets knocked out, we're good. Um, going to do this. There's my second one. Okay. Now I can do either one of those. And just... I can either do the V-Star there. Or the Squawkabilly. But the problem with the Squawkabilly... Is that dang collapsed stadium. It would just waste my turn. Alright, but I, I, I'm set up. I have a great setup here. Uh, they would have to hit 290, which is 9 energy, which they have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8. I'm going to try, try to do this with these guys. Now, that is not a good move if they if they do. They would have to do the one with the 100. But then they can't attack any of the... Oh, they can't even attack that one. Yeah, they would have to because I put the panic mask on. That's the only one they can do. And but they're going to knock themselves out. We just win the price trade. Sweet. Bye-bye. That was fantastic. And we get two more cards because this is going to obviously help us. Yes, we lost our Pidgey. Oh, my God. We got a boss and a, a Colrus. Well, I'm going to come up with this just because it doesn't have damage on it yet. And then I'm going to Colrus because we got to get our Ruffin down now. I'm going to a Colrus. There's our Ruffet. Uh, there's we got to put a Panic Mask and Irida. gives me what i need all right so we're going to do the rough it we're going to put the panic mask on and i think we're done there we're going to do this now they don't have a full thing so here we go we have the other four prize cards ready to go all i need so the irida gets me and an item which gets me the um ultra ball I need the Ultra Ball. Okay. Mm. Now, if they're able to attack, which they are, so they're actually going to knock me out. Out. Okay. So, I have a couple of choices here. This is going to be close because they're going to they're going to lose some energy here. So now, since they're attacking first. They can knock me out, do 200 to themselves. And then if they put that capsule on, since they don't have it. Hmm. This is going to be close if they played it correctly. There's the energy. Irida. For the Ultra Ball. For the Pokemon, I don't think I need one, but let's just get it. And I think I have it. Right here. Get rid of the two Serenas. Get me my Braviary. Put the Braviary down. Hit that retreat. Come up there. Do the attack. No energy. And we are taking six more prize cards. Boom. And that's how it's done. One, two, three, four. Love that they let make us let us do it in one shot. Ooh, there it is. All right, Chen Pao. Well, problem with Chen Pao is Serena can get knocked out by Chen Pao. So we how we're we gonna do this? Well. We're going to have to get some damage on the Chen Pao. They're going to hit us first, but we're obviously not going to be involved. So on our first attack, we have to take down Chen Pao and get this Panic Mask. So we have an unbelievable hand. I mean, if you're looking at it, it's unbelievable. It literally has every single piece we need. Uh, we're going to get another one because we know one's going to get eliminated 
Um, they don't have... They have a Radiant Grenade, so I have to put down Manaphy. All right, so I got two there, two there. Do we want a Nest Ball for the other one now? Um, let's just Culver's to see what happens. So, we could get another Battle VIP, but no. I'm going to need an Irida and another Culver's. That's what we're going to do here. We, we have an absolutely unbelievable hand. Okay, I'm not going to put the energy down. I don't need to switch. I'm going to save this Nest Ball and just hit in turn. Yes, I know. So let's see what they got. Now, if they don't have a Chen Pao... Okay, so they're going to get their backs Caliber, I can only assume. Are they going to get a... Max Caliber or a Chen Pao? If they have to get a Chen Pao, that would be amazing. Because then we take the first attack. Alright, there's Greninja. Alright, that means they, they gotta have something in their hand that they didn't put down before. For them to get the... Or they're gonna try to conceal cards and go through their deck. Okay. Okay. I think we're having a better start. Oh, there... You know what that means. There's an Iron Hands. They've got the iron hands. All right, so there's the Chen Pao. All right, so it's the Chen Pao with iron hands. All right, here comes... Here comes the Chen Pao. Now, if they're not... Okay, so they're going to put that. They should be able to get... there. Here comes the Bax Caliber. Right? Or is the iron hands, and they're going to get two cards right off the bat. That would not be good. Here's another Chen Pal. Okay. See what they're trying to do. Now, the problem is we can only take out one Chen Pal from attacking us. I don't think they were able to get it. Oh, they got it. they're going to try it. Uh, did they get it on the on the B-Burl? Ultra Ball. Okay, here's here comes the back Excalibur. It's got to be. Did they get the rare candy also? They did. This is an unbelievable turn. Another Frigibax. They gotta have a Bax Caliber then. The last two cards have to be. No. Oh, maybe they never got a rare candy. Okay, so they're taking more out. They probably, I think they did things a little out of sequence there. Superior energy retrieval. Well, we know they have at least two energy. Because they just did the Shivery Chill. And I got rid of those two. I don't know what that last card is. Could be an energy. Might not be. And then they're going to attach. Okay. Alright. The problem is we have to get two of them. Oh, there's the... Alright, so we are going to do this. And we're going to go straight to the Pidgey. Okay, so now we got that. I know I'm going to attach for turn here. I know I'm going to put that there. I could just Irida for it. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's Irida for it. Because I don't want them to take out too many. Alright, so there we got that. Done. Alright, so I can get this one. And I can actually get the second one ready to go. Because, is there anything I need? I don't think so. So let's get the second one ready to go. Although, I do need that panic mask. Hmm. Maybe I should put the panic mask on first. Yes, let's do that. I'm going to put the panic mask on first. So then they can't attack it. I'm going to save this nest ball. And now we're going to Icicle Soul onto uh, the Chen Pao with some uh, energy on it. Okay, cool. So there we go. So that Chen Pao can't attack. Yes, they can attack with the other one. And we're probably going to take lose one here. Now, depending on if they were able to get... 
their Bax Caliber Rare Candy. So now this Colrus has to get me either. I'm assuming I'm going to get knocked out. I might not. I mean, if I don't, we're, we're golden. But if I do, I need the Colrus to either get me an energy or a rare candy. Because then Pidgeot can get me that other piece. So there's what? Three plus eight. There's 11 cards. So there's 11 out of 39. And I just need one of them out of the five. Yeah, we figured this was going to happen. Now, if they don't have the Bax Caliber, we're golden. They're going to Iono. All right. So, well, good thing I got that Panic Mask and put it down. They did not get it. Oh, there's the Path to the Peak I would have loved to put down. All right, but we have the Rare Candy and the Serena, so we're good there. Would have loved that Path to the Peak a little sooner. I mean, I guess I could have got that instead of the Panic Mask. That may have... May have been a better play. They're going to Super Rod. They've got no Pokemon, so they're going to Super Rod a couple energies in. Okay. Well, the good thing is we're going for all six prizes. So, as long as we don't knock anybody out, we don't have to worry about Iron Hands. They're getting rid of those two. Okay. So after, oh, there's the Bax Caliber. Were they able to get the rare candy? D not yet. There's two. And. No, there's no way. You would have played it right away. We got another switch. Okay, well, we don't care who's in the active. That's the beauty part about this deck. We do not care. There's another Earthen Vessel. We're going to get rid of the Bax Caliber. And get two energy. What in the world? What did they, uh, they must have two. And they're going to assume I'm taking one. Okay, wow, this is... And another Panic Mask. Okay, we're golden. We are going to put that there. We are going to now put Path... Nope, nope, we're not going to put Path to the Peak yet. Let's call Rust and see what we got. Alright, let's take an energy. Let's take these two. Think we're good? Um, There's nothing I really want. Okay, wait. Let's... Oh, I got the mana feed down. Yeah, I know what we need to get. We need to get the rufflet okay because we're setting it up to get and we are going to path to the peak now icicle soul onto this gen pal so that's now both gen pals can't attack uh the radiant greninja can only hit the serena for 90 we're golden I mean, they can hit down our Pidgey, but I mean, we played Path to the Peak, so I only did that because I know we are set up. Path to the Peak in this deck is totally strategic. I know it shuts down our own Pidgey, but once we're set up the way we are, we're done. They're going to Industrious Incisors. Watch, they're going to get the Bax Caliber now. I cannot believe they haven't found it. That is crazy. They can't shivery chill to even thin their deck. There it is. They do have it. Okay. But neither Chen Pao can attack. The best thing they can do is either come up with uh, Bax Caliber and hit me for 130. Or hit me for 90 with Greninja because I have that Manaphy down there. And they're, yeah, they're stuck. We have shut them down. Um, let's put the Panic Mask down here. I can't Pidgey for it. 
So I will just Icicle Soul and let's do the Bax Caliber. So that's two prize cards, four prize cards. This is five. We need one more and then we can get the Bravaria. Now our, our Path of the Peak is shutting our Pidgey down, so see if they're able to knock out. If not, we're just going to keep drawing until we get it, and we will just have damage everywhere, uh, and then we'll just start hitting them. With this 180. Yep. And I get to heal 30 damage. So it's heal 30 damage from this and it recovers from all special conditions. Fair enough. There aren't going to be any special conditions. And are you going to attack? Come on. No attack? No nothing? They're going to boss. Okay. They're going to boss up the Manaphy. Honestly, they should have bossed up the Ruffet. Because the Ruffet can end the game quickly. Alright, they're going to take that out. Hellblade. Okay. Fair enough. So, I am going to put some damage on this Radiant Greninja. So, because I do not want it to hit this Ruffet. Irida, perfect. Let's, let's Irida for Ultra Ball. And for Pokemon, sure, we'll just take it. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of these two. I'm going to get the... Bravi, Bravia, Braviary, Braviary, there you go, Braviary, and I am going to Icicle Soul onto the Greninja, there are six prizes, we're going to come up with, Bra man, Braviria, Braviary, 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 oh my gosh, Yeah, we'll attach for turn. We'll, we'll attach for turn, and then we will retreat and knock out six prizes, one turn. Didn't have to worry about them doing a Luminion or coming down with Iron Hands. And we made them think. They've played for ten minutes. I haven't played for five. And I am going to end this. With in one fell swoop, as they say. And there it is. I wanted to take all six. They didn't let us. All right. We're going to Palkia. Now, they had a mulligan, so that's a Palkia Blastoise. So, we want them to evolve before we attack. So, we are going to have to give them a couple of these Bone Sweets. Uh, what else we got? We got three Bone Sweets here, the Pidgey, and a Ruffet. And we got the Bravery already. Uh, un unfortunately, we have no Rare Candy. We have no Supporters. And they have... Okay, so with this Nest Ball, we are getting the Manaphy. That's the obvious. There's a Squirtle. What are we going to get? A second Bidoof. Alright, so we need... So our prize cards are going to be here. Two for Palkia. Two for Blastoise. And... Hopefully put down another two prizer. Alright, there... And another Nest Ball. Okay. Alright, well, one, two, three. Here is going to be Manaphy. Just checking the deck here. Um, and then well, we might as well just put another Pidgey.
and hit end turn. Okay, so we've thinned the deck. And if we have through top deck an Arvin, a rare candy. Yeah, that's it. We need something to get us a rare candy. Or or an Irida, right? Irida gets us. Yeah, or an Irida. Um, preferably the Arvin. But we we have so many outs. Uh, we would we could even do a Colrus, and then hopefully we get it from there. So, what are we gonna get? Because I need the rare candy to get to the Pidgey, at least. All right, so here we are. The Palkia is honestly two forty. Okay, so we are gonna come up with um. I don't want to keep sacrificing all of them. So I'm going to come up with a Pidgey. Because if I can get into it, it has free retreat. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's um, that's highly unfortunate. Yes. There's nothing for me to do. I have no supporter. So over here, they got the War Turtle. All right, so now they're going to be a Blastoise. See, now, like, that was the turn that we needed to, to hit the Palkia uh, and get it. So, and get it to the hit to the 250 range. Because then they would have come up with this, and we would have hopefully hit that out. Now we are way behind the eight ball here. All right, now they got a Barrel. They're going to hit the Pidgey. So now the, the problem is here. I, I didn't attach for turn. I probably should have attached for turn uh, before. Because then I could have brought that up. And I don't know. It's it's frustrating. When, the, when this computer does not like. Come on. Give me a supporter. I put, there's like 15 in the deck. Or so. 12, 13. I don't remember. But it's high. It's high enough where I should have seen one by now. All right, but let's let's see if we can do this. See what supporter we can get. Now that we have our energy, um, an Arvin would help the most, right? Yeah, Arvin actually or an Irida, because then Irida would already give me the other piece, and then. Pidgeot can just get me the rare candy piece. All right. So, Lake Acuity. Okay, sure. That actually works in our favor, too. They don't know it yet. Unless they do. I don't know. All right. We're going to come up with this. And we are going to hope we hit it. If not, it's another sacrifice. Colrus. Okay. We got a supporter. We need a rare candy. Didn't hit it. Sweet. All right, Arvin will give it to us. That'll give it to us. And at this point, do I, I need a rough it? I have only one. Uh, I'm, yeah, I can't get rid of it just in case. I, I could now it can be a sacrifice. So let's put it down and end. Yeah. Okay. So we only have one more bone suite left. Because two have been eliminated. Uh, well, one has and one's about to. All right. So, Arvin. Arvin's going to get me my rare candy and panic mask. Finally. Then that'll get to the Pidgey. The Pidgey will give me the other rare candy. And then I can attack something. Now, they're only going to be hitting for 220. So, it actually may make sense... All right, so here we go. Oh, wait, there's the panic mask, which means that's good. Because now I get this and a panic mask. Okay, because now I can panic mask two things. So, rare candy, the Pidgey. Okay. Well, let's panic mask that. Let's 
panic mask this. Let's put that down. Now we have to get the other rare candy. Here this is. There we go. We got all our rare candies in the deck. Okay. All right. We're down to our little rough it and braviaries. So we are going to do this and hit this here. Okay. So that's two prize cards. So we can win this. Well, it's going to take more than three turns because they have no other two prizes out there. But if we, so what we have to make sure is the other braviary is in the deck. So a couple things. The braviary has to be in the deck and I need another uh, bone sweet. Boon sweet, boon sweet. I need another one. Because the Blastoise hits for two. 280. Okay. They can do that. So we may have to play this a little bit different. Because I might not be able to take all six prizes at once. Because they're going to hit us here for 280. That's fine. Then I'm going to hit the Blastoise. Wild Freeze. This Pokemon does 50 damage to itself. Your opponent's active is now paralyzed. Okay. So they're going to try to paralyze me. Huh. Again, I really need... Um, well, the other thing I could do... No, I can't. I think they just bought themselves a turn. Because the, the Paralyze... It's going to do 50 to them, which is great. Okay, no. They just do the Ice Wing. Okay, perfect. Well, we're golden. Um, so, we're going to do this. And we are, we're, we're going to check our deck here. All right, so I got another Bone Sweet. And I do have the other Braviary. And I don't want to be paralyzed. So. Um, they have a bunch of Pokemon. Do I have anything I want to give up? No. So Xenia's Resolve is not good. I can do another Panic Mask. We can do this. Is that going to help? No, they already did their V-Star. This is tough. Not going to lie. No, what I need here is... I need the Bone Sweet. Okay. Because I need, I need another one. Because I'm going to get knocked out. We're going to put that there. And then we're going to do the Soul. And we're going to do it to the Blastoise. Perfect. Now we can't get knocked out. Now there's really nothing they can do. That was it. I think they messed up by not coming up with the Blastoise and at least hitting me for 280. Because now you can't hit me for 280. You can paralyze me, yes. But the paralyze is only for 70. And they can do it three times. Actually, no, because I could just put the, the other damage on Articuno here and just get one free prize card, which will shorten the game. But since they're only doing 70, I actually should... No, because I need them to knock themselves out. So, yeah. This is interesting. So, Irida. Irida gets you a, a, a water Pokemon and a item. And they got nothing. See, the... the I like this deck, the Serena deck, because you, once they fill up their bench, that's it. You're not seeing any other Pokemon. Unless you knock one out, which, I mean, I, mean, I might knock out this Articuno here. But in two more turns, all their Pokemon can't attack. They're attacking ones, of course. I mean, you you can you can do the barrel for what whatever it is, hundred, right? Hundred, and and it's a flip coin. 
Now, I already have the Braviary, so I need my other two uh, Panic Masks. So I should do, so I should quick search for, yep, I'm going to, I'm going to put the 30 on there in a minute, but I am paralyzed. I don't think, oh, there's, yeah, yeah, okay, so, I think what I'm going to do is Colrus and try to get, because I need more than one piece. I think I'm going to Colrus. Because I need... Uh, is there an energy on that one already? Yes. Alright, so I already have the rare candy. So shouldn't I... If I Irida... That will get me what I need. Yep. Better move. Let's Irida. Get me this. And the switch. Oh, great move. It's a good thing I put that energy before. Here we go. Now I can... Which nothing can knock me out. So let's soul icicle soul for there. So now radiant Greninja can't even come up. Yes. Oh, they can paralyze me again. I should have actually hit it on there. That one, shouldn't I have? Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, I guess I should have put it on the Articuno. Okay, not that big of a deal because we have enough prize cards out there. We have six. So all we got to do is wait one turn because Articuno is going to knock themselves out. Um, the only other thing I need is uh, an escape rope if I if it's not prized. Or the other switch. Sorry, the other switch. Yeah. All right. So I can quick search for the switch. Come up with Braviary and the game. And I'll get one, two, three, four, five, and six if they freeze me again. Because the freeze will put them at a hundred. Yes. Perfect. Here we go. As long as I have a switch in there, let's quick search. Quick search for the switch. It's prized. Okay. So next thing. <laughs> okay it's prized we can do we can put a panic mask on there how many more panic masks do i need here i need and actually actually that's the piece i really need let's just get the panic mask uh put the panic mask there put the panic mask here put the braviary on there just in case let's put that on there and let's hit enter. All right, so they're going to take themselves out if they paralyze me again. So if they paralyze me again, I got to wait another turn because I don't have a switch. Oh, unless I get it out of the prizes. <laughs> that would help. But are they going to knock themselves out? Yeah, they are. Oh, but you had less than 40. Oh, but the paralyze still works because it's in effect. Got it. All right. The switch has got to be in number six, right? It is not. Um, I mean, there's nothing I can do. I'm just going to hit end turn. And, and that's it. Let's just make sure nothing funny happens. Let's get the other bravery. There we go. Yeah, you could... You can maybe boss that up end turn and we will win on this next turn. We only need five prize cards. We will get them. Put down the squirtle. I mean, that is the good thing about this deck. Once, once they, once their bench is full, that's it. You just have to wait for everybody to evolve before you put the damage counters on them. That's all you got to do. I mean, they, all they can do is boss up this and it's just going to come back and take the knockout. They can just, with the, the one without the panic mask. And 
Nothing? Cool. Let's quick search for the energy. Now I can retreat. Plenty of energy in there. Hit the retreat. Come up with the Braviary. Do the Eerie Cry attack. And take five prize cards. One shot. Game over. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. Love that we can take them all at once. Perfect. So after playing this deck, I really think Serena EX can be that sleeper deck and can sneak in the meta and be a real problem. If you like this video, I want you to hit that subscribe button up top and then watch one of these two videos and I will see you tomorrow.